Congratulations on Sundance, Gavin, and this film, um, Official Secrets. Um, it's about quite a controversy. Um, and um, I was wondering if you could tell us how this film came about. Well, I, I, long before I came on board, um, there was a version of the script written and there were attempts to make it much like, it often happens to be on films like this, Eye in the Sky was similar, but on Official Secrets there were drafts and, and it's, it's not always easy to get films with this kind of subject matter financed. So they often gestate for quite a while. From a financial point. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and when Jed, my producer, who's just over here, sent it to me, um, at first I was, wow, are we sure this is accurate? Because we're going to make a film where we talk about British spies getting emails from the National Security Agency and leaking them and the journalists who leaked them. We better get this right. This is better be mm -hmm. accurately researched. And, and, uh, and so at first I said, well, look, before I sign on, can I just come over and meet Catherine Gunn, mm -hmm. who's the real-life spy that Kira Knightley plays in okay. the movie? And, and I'd like to meet Martin Bright, the key journalist that Matt Smith plays in the movie. I'd like to meet Ben Emerson, who's the lawyer that uh, Ray Fiennes plays in the movie. And it said, of course, come over. And uh, I went over to England and I sat for five days with Catherine Gunn. And when, when, when she first met me, I think she was a little skeptical, like, who's this Hollywood movie person going to screw this up? And the first <laughs> yeah. day it was. Yeah. And then, you know, the, 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 the way you approach it, I think, is just to let her tell you her story, honestly, quietly. I said, just start at the beginning and tell me the story. And five days later, I think we bonded and trusted one another. And then from there I went and met all the different journalists and Ben and just gathered until I felt that I'd filled up my own tank with enough information to go back and work on the script and feel that what we're presenting tonight to, to an audience um, is accurate, hopefully exciting as a thriller, but also you know, legally accurate, historically accurate. Um, so it's been an interesting one because it's the first time I've actually made a film about people who are still very much alive. Yeah. Um, you know, this is a true story based on people who, if you don't get it right, are going to come and yell at you. Right, right, right. And so what would be some hopes that you have that audience real quickly take away from this uh, film? After I, you I always hope that the audience will first and foremost be entertained and that they'll find it an engaging story and keep them you know, wondering what's going to happen and enjoy the characters and enjoy the performances. I think Kira's performance is superb. It's really wonderful to see her doing a role where, I mean, she came to me and she said, Gavin, I, I, I love the idea of just playing this role with no makeup, my hair just as it is. I don't want to be cluttered with any, you know, fancy wardrobes. I think she's done with doing period dramas for a while because she's done so many and <laughs> yeah. she's so good at them. Okay, yeah, exactly. she, I think it was fun for Kira to, to play a character that is just, you know, there she is as Kira experiencing the emotions that Catherine must have gone through. And I think she does an outstanding job. So I Fantastic. hope you guys enjoy it. Well, thank you so much, you. Uh, Gavin, and congratulations thank on this amazing film. And have a great time at Sundance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Cheers. Thank so you. Much. You're oh being guys. rounded up at a